Breaking news, Buhari, Laye Mohammed dragged to court over gag order. Hello, my wonderful people. It's high time they take this to not just to court, but to jail. They need to be in jail. The activities, mm, not only God will feel save us for the hand, from the hands of these men. You know, this is what happens when you have this kind of people in government. Anyway, these people have been dragged to court over some of the activities and some of the things they have done. As Nigerians begin to cry out, this is unacceptable. Very recently, we, pre we presented to you that uh, this set of people have gone ahead and have said, well, the media can no longer report certain things. One of certain things is bandit. They must not tell people what is going on. They must keep the bandits of this country a secret. They must protect their integrity they must allow them to roam free i'm just this is just me adding my words so but i mean what i mean is that they want the bandit activities not to be reported to nigerians nigerians should not be aware in fact nigerians should be oblivious to the fact of what is going on and nobody should tell people what is happening and everybody's wondering seriously anyway they've been dragged to court please don't forget to give us a thumbs up subscribe if this is your first time let's get all the details Social Economic Rights and Accountability Project and Center for Journalism, Innovations and Development has filed a lawsuit against President Muhammadu Buhari and Mr. Lai Mohammed, Minister of Culture and Information. Syrup asked the court to declare illegal the gag order stopping journalists and broadcasting station from reporting details of terrorist attack and, and victims as the order violates media freedom and Nigerians' freedom of expression and access to information. Joined in the suit a defendant is the National Broadcasting Commission, NBC. The suit followed the directives of NBC asking journalists, television and radio station in Nigeria to stop broadcasting and giving too many details on the activities of terrorist kidnapping during their daily daily newspaper reviews in the lawsuit fhc slash abj slash cs slash two that's seven two five slash 2021 filed last friday syrup and ptc ig are seeking an order of paper of injunction restraining restraining the government of president muhammad buhari and lai muhammad and any other person from imposing fines and other sanctions on broadcasting st stations for carrying out their constitutional duty of reporting details of terrorist attack and victims during the daily newspaper review in the suits syrup and PTCIJ are seeking an order to compare and direct the NBC and Mr. Lai Mohammed to withdraw directives asking journalists and broadcasting stations to stop reporting details on all that is going on in the country as the directive is unlawful and unconstitutional and does not represent the interest of the people according to the 1999 constitution as amended. The country international human rights obligation. CIROB and others are seeking an order setting aside the directives on reporting all that is happening. According to Article 9 of the African Chapter on Human and People's Rights and Article 19 of the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights. According to CIROP, unless the relief source are urgently granted by the Honorable Court, directives of the NBC and Mr. Lai Mohammed will be used to oppress, restrict Nigerians' right to freedom and to freedom of information at all levels. So Lai Mohammed and Muhammad Buhai do carry the good courts. Now see of the carry the good courts say on a while at too much more come up for the road. Many people see road. Okay. What is the one do be say? You know why? Because you know if the person take your newspaper, newspaper will be there forever. Eh? Go we'll carry on the information for things where they go on. They don't make anybody know how that they use, how then they work with all these uh, group. Hmm? I don't make anybody know me. They not report and make as you know, men and you know, international community come, call Nigeria, call see what they happen. They want me to keep everything, everything, make everything be secret. Nobody go yeah, say now what they go on be this, not what they happen be this, not what they now what they happen, this not what they happen. Then are the trick who they won't use on Nigerians, my people. Now, so that they do to put people on that what we call bondage, make nobody know, keep it a secret. Eh? Let nobody know, say they don't, they, they don't adopt better students. Student goes to the adopt, they don't report and they keep quiet. 
So how people tell you what happened to people's children? So how will people be careful, cautious, and be, and pay, pay attention to what attention should be paid to? This is what happened in a country called Nigeria. Anyway, they don't carry Muhammad Buhari, they don't carry, carry the good courts. But the truth of the matter is, we not get caught, we not get serious court when they stand for people, when they talk the truth. Okay? Who we'll be the judge who will go judge the matter? Not be them, them. I don't want to talk the matter pass. I say, Buhari, we will send you go 18 months in prison. I don't want to have pass. So when you look the whole matter and the thing get key leg, honestly speaking, it gets serious key leg. And that's why Nigerians must continue to speak out, you know. Bishop Koka spoke with uh, Americans, uh, 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 American uh, uh, um, embassy and told them about how things are in the country. And guess what? Since then, they've not allowed the man to drink water and put cup down. In fact, they've been going on and on. You disgrace your country. Even Joe said, say, what will you, what, what, will you stop, stop disgracing your country? What are you gaining from telling people of what is going on in your country? My mind will say, because Joe, nothing don't happen to you and your family and your children, Abby. They never kidnap anyone before me. You call pay ransom. Or never kidnap you or your wife. So you feel, you don't know what they happen to people. You feel say they normal. You feel say people just they blab, Abby. Don't worry, go reach your turn. You know, so what they go up, they come down. And they say, what they go around, they come around. They come around. This is what goes on in this country. And people are just quiet. Nigerians are just folding their arms, watching all that is happening unfold. It ought not to be so. Honestly speaking, it ought not to be so. How can you restrain the media? The media is what keeps the government in check. Because you know this, 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 this will be said. You'll be more cautious in your dealings. But in Nigeria today, say nobody should even report anything. Live on like that. How can a nation be run like that? Is this not back to slave trade? When they pegged the mouth of the people with padlock, everybody said they were wicked. This is us doing it to ourselves. Oh. This is today's day and age. This is 2021. It's still happening. Courtesy of Nigerians voting into President Muhammad Buhari in 2015. Now, this is where we are. God will save us, you know, because we are really in a very state of what we call dilemma. Leave us a comment. We would sincerely like to hear from you. How Muhammad Buhari has turned this country to a laughing stock on the international front. You know, God will help us. Uh, please leave us a comment. Don't forget to like us. Please share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you too can get all our latest news. We sincerely appreciate you. God bless you. Bye for now.